So as I've been doing more and more algebra questions from the SAT for you guys, I thought about this question that I came up with myself, but I don't know how I will answer it. So let me ask you how you will answer it. How many real solutions does this equation have? And at first, you might be thinking, we have square root of 2x minus 7 is equal to square root of x minus 4. We can just square both sides. Cancel. And then we get 2x minus 7 is equal to x minus 4. Subtract x to both sides. Add 7 to both sides. Cancel. And we just get x by itself. It's equal to negative 4 plus 7 is 3. Is 3 real? Very real. How many solutions do we have? It seems that we just have one. So the answer is just one solution. Right? Yes, 3 is totally real, but here is my concern. If we plug in 3 into the original equation, will that really work? So, let's check when x is equal to 3. Plug into the original. On the left-hand side, we are looking at square root of 2 times 3 minus 7. And on the right-hand side, we are looking at square root of 3 minus 4. Here, 2 times 3 is 6, minus 7, we have negative 1 inside of the square root. Uh-oh, I don't think that's good anymore, right? But if you look at this right here, 3 minus 4, it's also negative 1 inside of the square root. But as we all know, square root of negative 1, this right here is not real. We are going to get i. Likewise, this right here is also not real. So how would you answer this question then? 3 is real, but when you plug in 3 into the original equation, the output from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, they are not real. So, how would you really answer this one right here? I think this is just kind of like a, either a very tricky idea or just like a really bad question to be asked. So, here is a much more fair tricky question that I propose, right? So let's take a look. So I will avoid ask you guys this kind of questions. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of gently cross it out like this. But instead, I will ask the following question. I would like to ask how many intersections do the graphs of y is equal to square root of 2x minus 7, which is the left-hand side, and y is equal to square root of x minus 4, half. Now this is a totally fair question, and I will tell you the answer for this right here is 0, or none, because they are not going to intersect at all. However, the, the trick right here is that if you just set up the equation square root of 2x minus 7 to be the same as this, square both sides, and do all the stuff like we did earlier, and you end up with x equals 3. But I will tell you, 3 is not in the domain of the first and also in the second function. So not in the domain. And we are talking about the real domain. Remember, when you make the graph of this kind of equations, you have to make sure you're just working with real numbers, like the output and also the in input, right? So this right here will be a much fair question to be asked. Yep, that's it.